What's up, everybody? So today we're going to be talking about the upcoming Argent Saga Championships, and we've got three to talk about. The first one is Las Vegas, which is next weekend. We've known about this one for a while, but recently we got news about the next two, which is in Dallas and then Hartford, Connecticut. Dallas takes place a month after Vegas, which follows suit with what they've been doing so far, which is a championship per month. But the eighth one actually has a two-month uh, separation, so you won't have anything in April, but you will have something at the end of May. Now, I don't know if they're going to continue with this trend where it's every other month. It might actually be good. Because the player base right now is kind of small, but it has a very, uh, I guess, loyal following, you could say. People like myself who just really love the mechanics and are just trying to get more and more people to play. By spacing it out every other month, it gives people like myself time to save enough money and then spend that every other month instead of every month where it really takes a hit to your wallet. So if they continue to do that, I think that's a good thing. But with that being said, uh, I do want to bring something to everyone's attention here on this first screen. The big one is the prize support for Vegas is 10000 and then Dallas and Hartford says 5000 When people first saw this, I think a lot of them were like, uh-oh, that's a problem. But whenever you go into the details, if you look at it, the top eight is still the same kind of prize support. You still get $2,000 cash for first. All the way down to eighth, you get $250 cash, and then, you know, your prize cards and things like that. So what what ends up getting cut from Dallas and Hartford is the ninth through 16th place, where you used to get boxes of the most, you know, recent set. Um, obviously, I think some people are going to be upset about this, but for me, if, a, if the ARG team can reallocate those funds towards something a little more beneficial with growing the local markets, I'm all for it. Now, if they don't, and it's just something to save money, uh, I don't know. That would worry me a little bit. But anyway, I I'm hoping it's the former and not the latter. But with that being said, let's, uh, let's dive into Vegas and see what we can expect from next weekend's event. So the first event we're going to talk about is Las Vegas. This one takes place next weekend at the Las Vegas Convention Center. It's also the same time as the Level Up Expo. Now, this is good and bad. Uh, you do have to pay for entry into the Level Up Expo just to play in the championship. Uh, the good is if you do bad at the championship, you still get to go to the expo. So yay for that. <laughs> um, but anyway... So this championship follows suit like all the other championships. Your regular package, you get the stamped promo along with a playmat for $40. Uh, and don't worry, I'm going to go over all of the promos at the end of the video because there's a bunch of new cards, and uh, we'll go over them together. The VIP package is also the same as all the other championships. You still get your stamped promo, your playmat, your bingo sticker, in this case, you get a alternate art Hoena, which is very nice. You can get these probably in March at your LGS, but it's going to be randomized. You're going to have to pull it out of the promo pack, so it's nice to get a guaranteed one here. You also get the full art foil shard. You also get five full art non-foil shards. You get a cereal pack, which comes with something like Ruka or Daylon or Buckeye, uh, Ash, things like that and then your standard promo pack. So definitely still good value out of the VIP package. I always get the VIP package when I go to championships. I've only been two, but I got them both times, and I did not regret it. As far as the prizing goes, the prizing is the same in this event as the other ones. First place, you get the 2,000 cash, all of your cards, all of your promos, things of that nature. Where it's going to change in the upcoming championships is this 9th to 16th place. You used to get uh, boxes of the latest set. You're not going to get that anymore. Um, but the payout in cash is still the same, so that's nice. In my opinion, if they're trying to find ways to better uh, budget their money to grow the game, I'm all for that. As long as the top eight still gets the same payout, I think the, the draw to go to the championships is still there for sure. So that's your payout. 
Uh, the cards that you can win at this event are Metal Aragon. You can get Ella Corrupted by Love and Ravenous Acidic Monger. And like I said, I'm going to talk about these at the end of the video. So they also traditionally do a regional on the day after. So this is for the people who didn't top eight. Uh, the kits that they're using for this Saga regional is the same ones that they've been using since December. So it's the Gold Corona. You can get the Full Art Trick. And then your entry promo is the Full Art and Treat the Blazewalker. So definitely some good cards to pick up there for sure if you haven't played in a regional uh, from December to now. They also host some side events. They do uh, giant card events. In this instance, it's going to be Buckeye. And they also do this Battle of Champion thing, which is pretty fun. In this event, it's actually going to be Jeff Jones. So you play Jeff Jones, and if you win, you get some kind of reward. So something special at this event is they're going to have a special promo card because it's at a convention. The promo here is Demonic Spy, and we'll talk about it at the end of the video. And then they also uh, you know, have these bounties where you can apply to be bounty, and if you beat the bounty, you win packs. So a lot of fun things at these championships. This is what we have for Vegas. It's the traditional championship that we've seen so far but now i want to kind of get into dallas because that's when things start changing they kind of change up uh the way they are structuring these things so let's get into that so the second championship is dallas it takes place a month after vegas which is the same timeline that we've had it takes place at the hearst conference center and the first thing that you'll notice here that changes is the prize pool so the five thousand dollars plus prize pool like I said before, the changes are from the 9th to 16th slot where you don't really get any product, and then the same thing from the 16th to the 32nd. But the top 8 still gets the same kind of payout, so that's still nice. Not a whole lot of change, uh, even though the, the banner makes it seem like it's a big deal. The big change to the championship events, though, are the packages. So the VIP package is what changes. The regular package is still the same. You get your stamp promo, and then your play mat, and then you get your bingo sticker. But for the VIP package, you get your stamp promo, and then you're guaranteed another promo. In this case, it's going to be a bone scavenger, which is amazing because that card's so good. And then on top of that, having a full art and foil, I just I can't wait for that. On top of that, you get an early look at a LGS Volume 2 pack card, and then you get a full art Buckeye. In this case, this Buckeye is actually metal. So it's the first printing of a uh, metal Buckeye. That's kind of nice. And then you also get five of these tokens over here. So you get the Golem token from Hoenna, the Illusion token, which... We already have from our LGS kits, but it's kind of ram randomized, so to get a guaranteed one's nice. You get your Buckeye and uh, Woody tokens, and then you also get your Quorum something. I forget what the name of the card is, but you get a 1,000 power unit here. It doesn't have Guardian or anything, but a lot of value in this package, in my opinion. The stamp cards, depending on playability, they go anywhere from 20 to $50. Um, the early look card, I'm thinking it's probably going to be around the $5 range. And then on the low end for any kind of metal card, I know Buckeye isn't really played and it's been printed to oblivion. Uh, you could probably get at least anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks for it just because it's metal. And then the tokens are probably going to go for about 5 apiece. I know the Illusion tokens right now are going for about 12 uh, from the LGS kit. I do have two. They're foil and they look really nice. So I, I think... Value-wise, you're definitely getting more than $100 here, and something where you can get Bone Scavenger as a full art, that's going to hold a lot of value for a, lot of for, for a long time. So that's one of the big changes. And here's kind of the, uh, you know, the details on it, showing that this is uh, metal, metal Buckeye. And then they talk about uh, the early preview card for Giga Shard Beast. It's the LGS Pack Volume 2. Yada, yada, yada. Like I said, we'll touch on those at the end of the video. So on Saturday, they talk about the, the prize payouts. You have, like I said, the same amounts here, the 2000 all the way to 250 for 5th through 8th. And then uh, you just don't get your product here anymore for 9th through 32nd. I'm okay with that as long as it helps the company grow and lets the game grow. Because if the company goes under, we all lose. Uh, so your prize cards here are actually a metal rain so that's pretty nice 
And then your top 32 promo is a full art Blue Rose Knight, which we already have, but it's always nice to see full art cards, uh, no matter what they are, in my opinion. And uh, we are actually getting probably some Rose Knight support in set three. So this little bugger could end up becoming very, very good. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Now, something else that they're doing new at this championship is they're not doing a regional. It's something called a Saga Showcase. Now, what it is, it's a $20 entry. You get a play mat, and you get five shard points. So I think they're going to try and incorporate the LGS events into these special events now. I don't know if they're taking away regionals altogether, but it's very similar to a regional, in all honesty. Um, I've seen some people talk about your, your entry promo or top cut promo. Uh, so I think they're going to add something in here. But as of now, this is what we have, which is just the five points and the mat. But your prizing is a gold prize card, and then you get cut points. So that's definitely different. We will be getting a metal uh, kite, which was supposed to be one of your regional promo cards. And I know some people were upset by that. So now you can finally get this. So that's very nice. But these Saga showcases is something that seems to be new. Uh, and I think it's going to be replacing the regionals until they get a little more support in the game, more player base, and then maybe they'll go back to the regional events. Uh, but either way, it's very similar to a regional. It's essentially the same thing. Uh, but you get cut points instead of you know, more more promo cards or full art cards. It's essentially your metal card, and then you get cut points. So that's that's the big change from those two championships, right? Uh, they still have their side events, still have the giant cards, most likely. I don't know if they're going to continue with it. It doesn't say it here, but uh, they, they very well could. We'll have to wait and see, and they still do the Battle of Bounty thing. So that's Dallas. Let's uh, let's move on to Hartford. So the new thing about Hartford is it's actually a two-month window instead of every month. I do think this is good. It's going to help uh, the competitive base uh, try and get to each championship event. At least I know it, it definitely gives me more flexibility for sure now. So taking place at a store, I hear the store is absolutely huge, though. So it's essentially the same thing as a convention center. For your regular package, uh, same thing. You get your one stamp promo and then your play mat. A lot of people are saying this is a reference to uh, a very good movie called Labyrinth, played by uh, David Bowie here, the Goblin King. And then your VIP package, you get the stamped promo that you got from the regular package. Another chance to get a full art bone scavenger, also amazing. Another early look card. And then in this case, you get a full art metal tux so very nice much better than buckeye obviously tux is very playable very good card and now a metal version so this card's going to be worth some decent money for sure and then you also get your same tokens so still a lot of value out of this this one's probably better because you get the tux so if if you guys are going to choose between dallas and hartford i would go to this one just for the promos that you're that you're going to get so there's the promos again. We'll go over these two new ones here at the end of the video. And then also, uh, the prizing is the same. Your top card, top uh, top cut prize cards here are Jillian in the metal, and then a new card called Playful Imp, which is very, very good. Spoiler, we'll talk about it here shortly, <laughs> but super good. Uh, and then you also have the Saga Showcase prize cards and then also your kite so this is three months you know from march april and then may so this is kind of like just regionals i don't know what they're going to do with any promo cards or if it's just going to be cut points but anyway if they take away the regionals and just replace it with this most of the people were gunning for the metal cards anyway um so some changes some big changes for the better, and then some changes just for, like, slightly worse, just because you don't get product for, uh, you know, top 16 anymore. And then if they don't do promos here, that's a little bit of a bummer, at least for your entry. If you get some kind of entry promo, this will be nice. Um, so if they do one entry promo and then you can get the metal cards, I think it's still a very, very good stuff that they're doing. 
and I'm very excited for the future of this game still. What we can do is we can just keep going to our local stores, playing the game, and try and get people interested. I hope you guys are doing that. I'm trying to do that as much as I can. So those are the three championships that are coming up. I just wanted to touch point on them and show the changes. Um, like I said, some good, some bad. But now that we've gone through that, let's talk about these new cards, man. So the first new card we're looking at is Voltier the Magical Marksman. It's the stamp promo that you get for entry at Vegas. It's a three-cost unit, 2,000 power, and it has an exhaust ability where you pay two and you destroy a target unit with cost two or less. Uh, definitely not a bad ability. It does not have to be your opponent's. It can also be yours, so if you're trying to trigger some kind of ruined ability, that's something to mention. I don't know how often it would be played right now before Ascension comes out because it doesn't really play into the Liam strategy, which is pretty much revolving around Repo Bloom. But going forward, after, Ascent after Ascension comes out, who knows? The next card we're looking at is the top 50% promo that you get at Vegas. It's Ravenous Acidic Monger, 5 cost unit, 2500 power Argent card. It's got an arrive ability that says destroy up to 2 target augments. If you destroy at least 1, this card gains quickness. If you destroy 2, this card also gains destroyer. It's a very cool effect. 5 cost 2500 is somewhat weak. But the arrive ability is very strong, especially if you can get off uh, destroying two augments. Something to note, uh, it does not have to be your opponent's, so you can destroy your own augments if you want to. But being able to destroy your opponent's would be great. This is pretty good against Liam right now. Being able to destroy two uh, gears is very nice, and then gaining quickness and destroyer can really kind of swing the tempo uh, in a match. But uh, yeah, this is... This is Ravenous Acidic Monger. Moving on, we have Ella Corrupted by Love, which is your top 64 promo at Vegas. Three cost unit, 2,000 power. She actually has two subtypes here. It's a Silver General uh, typing and then Sky Raider. And we've seen Sky Raider. Sky Raider is in the air uh, element. And then Silver General is something new that we're going to be seeing out of Ascension. It's basically all of these characters that are uh, end up Becoming bad because uh, Meteol or Meteol, I don't know how to pronounce his name, pretty much makes them bad. So her effect is discard a silver general unit from your hand. Target unit or augment loses all abilities as long as you control this card. And then she also says whenever this card is discarded, you may pay one. If you do, target unit or augment loses all abilities this turn. Right now, I, I'm not a huge fan of the losing abilities effect. Uh, there are instances where it's good, like using it on something like Grove Elemental, where if it would leave the field, you have to destroy a shard. Negating that effect's pretty good, because you get to ramp um, without having the, the downside. So that's something that could come into play. Uh, it does pair with that strategy as well, because she's a Sky Raider. So Ella actually allows you to discard her with her effect, or Kite as well, whenever you're just discarding cards. Uh, she can on command, make something like Grove Elemental lose its ability. So it's some interaction that I can think of right now. So moving on, we have Demonic Spy. This is the side event promo card that you can get in Vegas. So if you play one of the side events there, you can get this card. It's a two-cost unit, 1,000 power, and it has an arrive ability that says flip target face down tower your opponent controls face up. It's a very nice effect. Um, anytime you can get any kind of information from your opponent is nice and one of the only RNG aspects of this game is towers so if you take that away it's all skill baby so our next card is Rex Child of Brilliance it's the entry promo for Dallas it's a one cost unit with a thousand power and it reads if you would use shard drain you may sacrifice this card instead of returning a shard to your shard deck so I really like this card um, the one cost 1,000 power is already serviceable. And then the effect allows you to shard drain early in the game without getting too far behind. Uh, I do like that. There's a lot of good uh, low cost shard drain cards like Tidal Rush or Ancient Sermon's Breath, Phantasmal Storm. All of those things you can shard drain early and sacrifice Rex uh, to not pay the cost and get too far behind. So I really like that. Uh, the one card that I actually really like this with is Master Genso. Um, this is a perfect target for it, especially if you're playing Jamile. 
You can bring this back with Master Genso, uh, put another counter on Jamal for being a blue unit, and then get the additional Shard Drain uh, Sacrifice play off of Rex. So uh, I really like that. I think this card is definitely an instant three of in, in any kind of blue deck. Moving on, we've got Giga Shard Beast, which is your early look promo for the LGS Volume 2 packs. You can get this at the Dallas Championship by entering the VIP package. So this is a two-cost unit with 2,500 power, which is absolutely nuts. Uh, its effect reads, you can only play units, so there is a downside like most of the uh, Shard Beast cards. And then it also reads other shard base units you control get plus 500. So very interesting card. The downside obviously could come back to bite you, but shard beasts are looking like an extremely aggro uh, deck. Right now we only have three of these. We've got shard beast, giga shard beast. We've got uh, raging shard beast. And then we also have reckless shard beast. Now raging shard beast, this does nothing to. It just makes it 2,500. Um, Raging Shard Beast was already good because it was breaking towers for one cost. This does nothing to that. But Reckless is where this card kind of comes into play. Uh, Reckless, being able to destroy one of your own towers to gain quickness is something that was pretty serviceable when it first came out. Uh, the problem was is if you hit something that wasn't the Wind or Fire Tower, you really didn't get a whole lot out of it. So with this, you're able to break any tower with that unit. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I'm, I'm curious to see what other Shard Beast cards we get either out of Ascension or this uh, LGS Volume 2 pack. Moving on, we have Citra, Aspirant Rose Knight, which is a one cost unit with 1,000 power, and she's your entry promo into Hartford. She's a Rose Knight unit, uh, so that does come into play, and her ability is discard this card and a gear from your hand, search your deck for Order of the Rose, and add it to your hand. So Order of the Rose is a one cost unit that we got in uh, uh, Revelations, and I'll put it next to this card when I'm showing the video. Uh, it's an okay card. I mean, it thins your deck. If you're playing Rose Knights, it's probably a decent card to play, especially now they can search it with Citra. And then she also has an arrive ability that says if a unit was sent from your field to the discard zone this turn, you may search your deck for a Rose Knight unit with cost two or less, except Citra, and put it into play. So the arrive effect is very good. Uh, the discard effect is okay. Uh, Order of the Rose isn't something to write home about, but the arrive effect is really good. Uh, for one cost, 1,000 power to get two monsters on board, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty nice. I'm very interested to see what other Rose Knights uh, we get in Ascension for sure because this one's looking really nice. So our next card is Unrestrained Poltergeist. This is one of the promo cards you will get if you do the VIP package at Hartford. It's a two-cost unit with 500 power, and it has a ruined ability that says send the top three cards of a player's deck to the discard zone. Then a different player expels the top three cards of their deck. So this is very interesting. Um, this is the first time that we've kind of seen a, a milling uh, strategy where you can maybe deck out your opponent with something like this. There's plenty of cards that utilize the ruined ability. Uh, Gargoyle Mimic, or Mimic Gargoyle, I forget which one it is, uh, copies ruined abilities, so that could be a strategy. Um, and then also uh, being able to expel cards. I'd, I'd really like to figure out the ruling on this one if the cards are expelled face up, I'm assuming. Um, if they are, then you get their effects, so that's kind of nice within a Blazewalker strategy where you want your Blazewalkers to be banished. Uh, but yeah, this one, I mean, we won't get, get this until May, so we're really looking out here, but pretty interesting card design for sure. And our last card is Playful Imp, and I'm very sorry for the quality here, but this is like the best kind of picture I could get. This is your top 32 promo if you top 32 at Connecticut. And this one is amazing. It's a one-cost unit with a 1,000 power, and it has a ruined ability that says, declare a card name, your opponent reveals their hand, and discards all copies of the declared card. This card's nuts. I, like, I don't know how I feel about this card. <laughs> it's, 
uh, like it's obviously very good and I would r- want to run it, but I have zero idea how this is going to play out in the format. You have plenty of ways to pop this early. You have the new Rowena uh, sneak peek card that can pop this on turn one. Um, you also have Iten that guarantees this. You have the Mimic Gargoyle that I was just talking about to copy this ruined ability. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, this doesn't come out until May, so I don't want to get too you know, revved up about it because there may be cards that just stop this. Uh, some way to counter it. But as of now, this card seems absolutely nuts in a format that we're currently in. But like I said, let's wait and see. But this is this is the last card that we're, <laughs> we're reviewing today, and it's one really good one. Um, but there you have it, guys. This is, you know, my saga news. We got to go over some of the changes between the championships, uh, take a look at some new promo cards, and the new structure they have. So... Let me know what you guys think uh, in the comment section below. If you like these changes, if you hate these changes, <laughs> um, I'm sure everyone has an opinion. But, uh, yeah, let me know. I'm, I'm really interested. I'm excited about all this stuff, but I usually am excited about everything. Uh, I'm usually not the pessimist, but I do understand some of the arguments that people have had. Um, but anyway, I digress. Uh, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Zeppelin out.